Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Bird's Nest Designs. My name is Denise Cox. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Trail, British Columbia, Canada. Today is Thursday, January 11th, 2024, and I am here to share with you day four of Celebration Week. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, Linda, welcome. Um, so I hope that you've been following along with us all week. Um, my friend Michelle Litwiller of Owl Star Stampers and I have been going live each day sharing with you celebration projects using exclusive products that you can earn for free in the celebration catalog. Oh, what is happening over here? <laughs> so we flip, flip flop times today um, because I have a hair appointment at 10 Pacific time. So we've flip, flip flopped. So I hope that you're here. And don't forget when my video is over at 10 a.m. Pacific time, Michelle will be live over on her Owl Star Stamper um, channels. Good morning, Margaret. Welcome. So today we are going to play with the trusty toolbox designer series paper. Good morning, Michelle. Um, we are going to play with this paper. I love this paper so much. As soon as I saw it, I knew I needed to have it um, for a couple of reasons. Number one, um, I have, I'm always looking for fun masculine cards. What is going on with this piece of hair over here? So this is why I'm going to the hair today. Get my hair done. <laughs> it's going crazy. Um, okay. So I have sons. So masculine cards are always um, something I'm looking for. And the tools really um, are cool because um, they just are cool. <laughs> my dad's a carpenter. My son's a mechanic. So I have lots of use uses for this fun paper. Okay. So I am trying to keep this video short and sweet so I can get to my appointment on time. Um, so let's flip the camera down and we'll talk a little bit about Celebration Week as we create today's fun card. So say hello. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining. Hi, Beverly. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Sonia. Welcome, welcome. Okay. So during Celebration this week, I have... a an ordering special going on. So if you place an order of $45 or more from my online store um, using this host code right here, I'm gonna pop it up on the screen. Um, using that host code, I'm gonna send you all four of the make and take projects that I made this week. So I had hoped that the cards and stuff were in here, but they're not, but here is the layout. <laughs> Here's the layout we made yesterday. Yesterday we did some scrapbooking and we made this fun layout using the Jungle Pals. Uh, Monday we used, what did we use on Monday? We used the watermelon stamp. And then on day two, on Tuesday, we used Softly Sophisticated with the Flight and Airy. So I'm gonna send you all four projects when you place your order through my online store. And as a bonus, you're also gonna get a PDF tutorial with your make and takes um, emailed to you that will include Michelle's four projects as well. Good morning, everybody. Nice to see you. Thank you for joining me. Um, okay, so that's how it works. Use the host code you see there on the screen. Um, you have until midnight on Saturday to get your orders in to get your make and take package in the mail. Okay, now if your order's over $60, is there no sound? Can you guys hear me now? I hope the sound is okay. I'm seeing a comment that there's no sound, but please let me know if you can't hear me. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. Thank you for letting me know. Um, Tina, maybe there's just something on your end with sound. Okay, awesome. I'm going to continue. I, the only reason I was thinking there maybe was something was because it was telling me my mic was being weird when I connected. Anyway, all good, let's continue on. So we're gonna use this beautiful celebration paper. I shouldn't say beautiful, it's more like awesome, right? So here are the six patterns. Let me just flip them over. So we've got some fun red screwdrivers here and this nice um, subtle gray background. We've got some tools over here. And then we've got this fun grid paper. Can you see that grid on there? We've got, this one is one of my favorites. I love this measuring tape paper. We're gonna use a bit of that today. Um, and then on the back, we've got like a pecan pie polka dot kind of pattern. This um, pattern with the nuts and bolts and the screws on it in, Le in Lost Lagoon is fun. And then we've got this red and gray stripes, which we're gonna use this today. Um, here we have some more tools, different kinds of tools. Um, this is more like carpentry tools. And then on the back, we've got this nice Lost Lagoon wash pattern. 
And then here's more screws, nuts, and bolts in a gray. And then on the back, we have these yellow hammers. So it's a really great tack. You can find it in the celebration brochure on page 11 right here. And you can earn this for free with a $60 order. So be sure to check this one out if you haven't already. Um, all right. So now we're going to, I'm going to show you the bundle. So this bundle coordinates with this paper. This is in the mini catalog, uh, the trusty tools bundle. We've got all kinds of tools, fun little sentiments and sayings, perfect for father's day. Thank you cards, any kind of masculine card, or maybe you have, um, female trades people in your life that you want to send a card to you could totally make that for them as well um okay so here's the trusty tools dies there's 20 dies in this kit tons and tons of options and what i love a lot about this is that these dies will cut out a lot of these tools not all of them but it will cut out a lot of them so you can use the dies to cut out the tools and use those on your projects without having to um stamp and color and all the things if you're in a bit of a a hurry or you just want to have them already pre-colored for you okay so what do you guys think do you guys love that paper i think it's a super fun one so i've got a lot of projects to share with you i've got three alternate cards and a scrapbook double layout that i'm going to share with you at the end of the video um so let's get started so i've got a bunch of pieces here already cut we're going to use gray granite as our card base I'm gonna remove that banner for now so that I'll pop it up again later. Okay, so we've got a gray granite card base. I've got a piece of poppy parade and a piece of basic white. And then from our designer series paper, I have a piece here, three and three quarters by five. I've cut this one too. And this is that red and gray stripe pattern I showed you from the pack. And then I have already gone ahead and fussy cut or die cut a bunch of tools and things here that we're going to use on the card. I also have just a little tiny strip here of, of, of basic white. Okay, so first things first, let's take this piece. We're gonna turn this into a toolbox. So in my our shed, we have a couple of toolboxes that look very much like this, <laughs> this paper. So I thought right away, let's make this into a toolbox. So using my ruler, I'm on my glass mat here. So if you, um, sign up with Stamping Up and order your starter kit during celebration. You can add this on as a free option. So you pay no extra and you get this beautiful glass mat. Um, and we're going to take this, we're going to line up my ruler on the top of the gray stripe there. And I'm just going to use my X-Acto blade. And I'm going to cut across there. So these are add-ons for the Take a Pick tool. They're in the annual catalog. This is just one of them that you get in there. I'm going to do the same for all four of these lines. Okay, and then we'll do this one. And one more at the bottom here. So isn't it fun that you can just cut directly onto this glass mat? can use it. It's a perfect stamping platform as well. Okay, so we've got those all cut. They've all cut through like this. Okay, so these are going to act like drawers on our toolbox. I'm going to flip it on over and grab some dimensionals. We're going to need a lot of dimensionals for today's card. So I'm going to stick dimensionals on all of these drawers, three on each one. So above the cuts that I made here, I'm gonna put the dimensionals. And this is gonna act like, the, like I said, the drawers, and we're gonna stuff those tools into the drawers of our toolbox. Just making sure that I'm putting them, I don't wanna um, put them over top of those cuts. Okay. So put this one here. This one's a big drawer. So I want to make sure that I have them in the center. And then we'll put three here along the bottom. Okay, so lots of dimensionals, like I said. But we're going to need them to keep our toolbox in place and to make sure that our tools are going to slip into those drawers. So we'll pull those off. It is another cold and snowy day here in, um, in trail. 
And when I woke up this morning, it was snowing. It was so pretty. It was snowing like little snowflakes and like quite hard. It was so pretty. Now, I, I think it may have stopped now, but it's quite chilly. It's supposed to get to minus 25 tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow. Maybe it's Saturday. Anyway, the next couple of days, it's supposed to get to like minus 25. Okay, so we're going to take this piece now. And we're going to put it on to our Poppy Parade cardstock. Okay, so I got all those dimensionals down and we've still got all these little pockets that we cut in that piece of paper. So then from this page, I think it was this page I used. So I cut a few thing, a few tools out of these two pages. Let me show you again. So from both of these pages, I just cut out an assortment of tools and different things. So I've got a paintbrush, some pliers, hammer a pencil and then I cut out now I never like to waste when there's these amazing things that we can fussy cut out of the paper I never like to waste them so even these partial tools down the sides like these here I've cut some of them out too because I'll show you how they're going to work on our project today okay so there's some of our tools so what we're going to do is we're going to take these tools and we're going to actually put them into actually first before we do that <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself I've cut out a little piece of that measuring tape paper and I'm going to adhere that one right down here across the bottom drawer just to add a bit of color and break up the red um, and I think it looks really cool. Okay, so there is our measuring tape across the bottom. And then let's do this too. Let's stamp on our little piece of basic white here. It's just a little strip that I have. I've got Lost Lagoon. Um, and I'm going to use the Happy Father's Day stamp that comes in the Trusty Tools stamp set. So this Happy Father's Day right here, we're gonna use that. This is going to be a perfect card to send to my dad. Because like I said, he's a carpenter. And so, you know, tools works. Okay, so there's Happy Father's Day stamped in Lost Lagoon. And that one, we'll just put a bit of seal on the back of that. And I'm going to stick this one up near the top, off to the right-hand side on the top drawer. Okay, so there is that. Now we're gonna start tucking these tools in. So I used this one, it was a half one that was just sort of cut onto the edge of the paper, but it can go beautifully up in here, somewhere in one of these drawers. So the trick is just to kind of stick them in the drawer. I mocked this up last night, but I haven't actually made this card. So we're gonna just wing it today together. So the tool can get tucked like there. And then we could have the little screw. Oh, let's do the pliers next. These tools are so fun. So the trick is just getting them stuck in underneath those dimensionals. So we could have put the tools in first. Now that I'm making this, we could have put the tools in the pockets first and then done our dimensionals. And then it wouldn't have mattered where they were um, because it would have. But there again, there's another screwdriver that I just cut the handle from the side. Don't waste any of those fun papers. And then we have a partial pencil. Again, it's missing the eraser end, but because we're putting it in here, it won't matter. Uh, we've got a paintbrush. We can put our paintbrush down here. And then we've got the end of a wrench so we can use two. Haha, <laughs> this is so cute. <laughs> okay, what do you guys think? Isn't that sweet? So what we're going to do now is I'm going to just take some dimensionals. Now that I have everything kind of placed the way I want it, I'm going to take some dimensionals here. And I'm just going to pull up the tools and put one dimensional and then stick them down in place. And that way we know they won't go anywhere. Okay, 
So once we get all of those secured, you might need some mini dimensionals depending on your tools. Hi, Kathy, welcome. Um, okay, so we'll do that. Put one here behind our level. And then I don't think we did our hammer yet, not the hammer. So then we just have to get some minis for behind the pencil and behind the end of the wrench there. <laughs> Jennifer, I'm winging it. Yes, I am winging it, but I did have it kind of mocked up yesterday. So it's not brand new idea. I did have an idea what I was going to do. Okay, so I've grabbed some mini ones here. And just stick that in there. So remember, the dies that go in the trusty toolbox bundle will cut out some of these for you. Um, so you don't have to fussy cut all of the tools. if You don't like to fussy cut. And then for the pencil, it's quite thin. So we're actually going to just use, oh, it's sticking to me. Hi, Mom. Oh, thanks. Mom's, mom's watching, and she said, nice card. So thanks, Mom. Okay, we're going to take this piece here from... Um, back we cut one of the minis in half and I'm just going to put that in behind the pencil okay I'm going to stick that down like that so there is our fun little toolbox that we've created and then I'm going to take my gray granite card base good morning Suzanne nice to see you um we're going to put this on the poppy parade. We're going to glue this down onto our, oh, my goodness. See, I'm trying to hurry and I'm missing steps. We do need to fold our card in half first. <laughs> that would be a good thing to do. And we're going to burnish it with my bone folder hair. Okay. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. Now we can attach that to the front and the gray granite in the background just ties in with the rails here on the edge of our drawers. So that looks pretty perfect. And then for the inside, this is going to be fun. So for the inside, I cut a piece of, um, so this is just the regular insert four by five and a quarter. I've cut a four inch piece of the measuring tape that we're going to put down here along the bottom. But then I thought, oh my goodness, it needs something more. So last minute, right before I jumped on, I thought, oh, I'm going to cut out this cluster of two partial tools from the edge of the designer paper. And we can tuck that underneath here and it can kind of go in there. And how cute is that for the inside of the card, right? So let's go ahead and glue that down. And we've only stamped one thing. We can make some really fun cards even without stamping on them. Okay, I'll glue that there. And then for the inside, oh, we'll put the measuring tape. For some reason, I feel like it needs to go this way, not the other way I had it. Okay, so now that can go on the inside of our card. like this my goodness how cute is this Do you guys like this card so far so I did bring in some rustic metallic dots from the annual catalog that we're going to use to kind of add some bling because even though it's a card for a masculine card I do want to have some bling on it so let's just switch out my end so on my take a pick tool I can just unscrew this um, blade end that we used earlier. And we're just gonna put in this um, end here. Oh, the putty end again. Okay, so it's super easy to change on the take a pick tool. And then let's add some of these little guys. Mm, put one up there. couple here. I usually only do three, but I feel like this card might need a couple more. So let's do another one over here. Four. And then I like to do things in odd numbers when it comes to embellishment. So we need one more. Where are we going to put one more? Let's use a bigger one. Maybe put it down, down there. Okay. So there we have a super fun um, Happy Father's Day card. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you think of this card.
Thank you so much for all of your thumbs up and your hearts. And if you're watching over on YouTube, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel, um, if you like today's video. So today is the final day of our celebration week. Um, this is my last video of the week. And Michelle will be live in about 40 minutes over on her Owl Star Stampers channel. <laughs> um, but I did promise I would share with you guys um, some more projects that I used with this trusty toolbox paper. This is the first celebration I, product I ordered, if I'm being honest. I loved this paper so very much. Um, okay, so there is that card here. And then here's another card that we're making in my hostess club this month, again, featuring the trusty toolbox. Um, love how this one turned out as well. Nothing fun in the inside of that one. And then here's another one we made. This one we made at a stamp -a stack on the weekend. This features the um, designer series paper here, the measuring tape. You can see I really love the measuring tape, right? <laughs> and then I've used um, phrases for all for the happy birthday. This one was a stamped hammer we stamped on Smoky Slate. And then the hammer is actually two-step stamping to fill in the handle. So you don't even need to color them, but it's fun. Um, so there's that. And then we stamped, you can see that we stamped that fun measuring tape stamp all along the background. So that was a really fun card. And on the inside, we had nothing. <laughs> just, just boring on that one. Okay, here's a swap card that I got from Kristen Hancock. Um, it's not a fun one. She's used the paper in the background and then added just a couple die cut tools. And dad, thank you. Love this card too. So that was a really fun one. Now, I have a scrapbook club every month and we are actually meeting. The first group is meeting tomorrow. And so this is the layout that I want to share you, but I'm not going to be able to show you the whole thing in the, in the camera because it's a double page 12 by 12 layout. So there's page one. I know, look at the measuring tape, right? Again, it's there. <laughs> and then page two, oh, I have it upside down. So page two looks like, oh, it will fit all in the camera. So there's page two that I created. So I love these tools, can you tell? So that is my scrapbooking um, club, one of the pages we make. We make two double layouts and a single every month. Um, it's a really fun group and I hope to get more information out on my blog, hopefully very soon so that others can join us as well. There's also going to be a PDF option for that club. Um, so you can purchase it from anywhere in the world. You don't have to be in Canada. In Canada, you'll get the kit, but everywhere else you could just buy the PDF and be part of the group that way. So let me know what you think of this card. I had so much fun creating it. I can't wait to send this off to my dad and, on Father's Day. <laughs> um, hopefully I don't forget that I've already made one. But um, yeah, so thank you so much for joining us for Celebration Week. I've had a blast. I know Michelle's having fun too. And from all the comments, it looks like you guys are as well. So hopefully um, you'll be able to join Michelle in like just over half an hour over on her Owl Star Stampers um, channels, either YouTube or Facebook, and watch for the beautiful cards she's going to make. I got a little sneak peek this morning. It's beautiful. You guys don't want to miss it. So make sure you go on over and check that out. And if you are enjoying these videos, if you love these video weeks Michelle and I do together, please let us know and we'll maybe plan another one for you in the near future. So don't forget, um, be my Valentine. I don't have the projects here because I have a class this afternoon and I have them all set up in the other room in my studio um, for showing, but don't forget to sign up for our Be My Valentine. We've been sharing that with you all week long. You don't wanna miss it. It's super adorable. Registration ends for that on the 14th of January. Um, and then on the 15th of January is the deadline to register for my Creatively Hatched Monthly Card Club. And that one is featuring the Ice Cream Swirls Bundle. So, oh, look at all the love I'm getting. Thank you, guys. I'm so glad you're loving these video weeks. That's awesome. Um, thank you all so much for being here um, and for all your comments and, like I said, all your love. It means so much to me, um, and I really appreciate each and every one of you taking time out of your day to come and stamp with me. So, thank you all so very much. I hope Don't forget to pop on over and watch Michelle's video at um, 10 a.m. Pacific time, and I will see you guys all really soon. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful week.